hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And this was coming sooner or later. BLM organizer demands that white people sign over their property to minorities. Now, we've seen this before. Here's an article from March where some... I can't say the word here. Some moron, uh, Jacob Zuma, whoever he is, this is in South Africa, is demanding that whites give up their property. Anybody here uh, see a similarity? <laughs> if you don't, you're blind. He wants white farmers, he wants to just take their land and screw you. I don't care where you live. See, this has happened before, and what in Africa, and what happens is the country gets poorer. It gets poorer because there's nobody working all of a sudden. Uh, he's actually the president of South Africa. President Jacob Zuma has called on Parliament to change South Africa's constitution to allow the export creation of white owned land without compensation. He's basically just going to steal it. Unbelievable. This is coming to this country if people don't wake up and realize what's going on. That's the same exact rhetoric as from this uh, BLM man. Uh, scumbag. This is a hate group. I mean, if you're going to nail whites on hate group status, you have to nail anybody of any skin color. It doesn't really matter what skin color it is. What matters is their ideology. And their ideology is leftism. It's statism. It's taking total control of people. That's what their ideology is. Color, the skin color really doesn't matter. I got news for uh, some of you folks. None of us can zip out of our uh, birthday suits and change what we are. Change what we look like. I mean, I can tan a little bit. I don't want to risk a sunburn, but, uh, no, we can't do that. White people, if you don't have any descendants, will your property to a black or brown? family, preferably one that lives in generational poverty. White people, if you're inheriting a property you intend to sell on acceptance, give it to a black or brown family. You're bound to make that money in some other way, white privileged way. Unbelievable. If you're a developer, a real, real deal owner of public family housing, build a sustainable com complex in a black or brown play a neighborhood and let black and brown people live in it for free. Right, like that's gonna happen. White people, especially white women, because this is your specialty. Those are Johnny and Medley Kathy. They have no idea what that means. Get a racist fire. Y'all know what the fuck they be saying. You are complicit when you ignore them. Your boss fired because they racist too. Backing up to number seven, this should be easy to all those sheepless clan neo Nazis and all those little DK white men all be returning to work, get their ass fired. All police. They look suspicious. And this goes on and on. This is a Black Lives Matter, Matter organizer. I don't know if it really names him or not. Okay, just set for FYI. The name of this referee is Chanel Helm, BLM 
Louisville organizer. You can see a picture of her there. So this one is for real. And she's a nut job, obviously. BLM is a hate group. Well, hate is really subjective, so how are you going to prove it? Hate is an emotion, how are you going to prove it? You can't. But there are a bunch of tiny liberal nut jobs, and that's the way it is. They're not all blacks either. There's plenty of whites in BLM. So, uh, it's not a racist thing. I said before, you can't zip out of your, uh, skin and put a new one on, like we do in Second Life. You're stuck with the one you have. Sorry, it's the way it is. So, there you have it. BLM, nut job, kook. Black hole, and they want you to give up your property when they're on a mission. And more facts of Mars, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> Thanks for watching.